Medical mystery surrounding the deaths of majestic seabirds that are washing up on Cape Cod and South Shore beaches. And so far, there are no clear answers about what is killing these northern gannets. Yeah, the death toll right now stands at nearly 100 as scientists search for a reason. And this really gets to be a Sherlock Holmes enterprise. Dr. Greg Mertz is a veterinarian at the New England Wildlife Center in Weymouth and has tried to save several gannets. We have not had one survive. This is what healthy gannets look like. Large birds that spend most of their lives at sea, diving from great heights to catch fish. This mysterious die-off started about a month and a half ago. They are normally very stately and also very um, strong presence kind of birds and they're coming in like wet noodles you know they're just kind of laying down you can approach them without them even reacting to you the sick birds suffer gastrointestinal problems anemia and are often covered with lice and even though they begin to recover with treatment they will respond but then they crash again adding to the mystery we're just probably seeing tip of the iceberg. We're seeing the ones that land on shore. There's probably many, many more out there that uh, are probably just going under. Veterinarians are sending samples to the USDA to see if federal experts can find a cause. Is it the fish they're eating, the effects of red tide, or is it something else? I tend to think it's more of a viral issue, but we don't know. It's, it's well, guess what? Mm. Small bit of good news. Some gannets at an East Ham Wildlife Center are recovering and they could be released next week.